House of Pain fans, let me just cut to the chase. After, um, you know, this week's episode, A Little Discipline, episode 17, Wondering Prince, episode 16, Painfully Honest, and upcoming synopsis for, um, what do we got here? Episodes 20 and 21, but uh, what was it? Episode 20 is the episode where Calvin's having second thoughts about getting married. Episode 21, Calvin and Laura move forward with their wedding plans. And Miranda apparently has plans of her own. It's just Miranda and Calvin, they are most likely getting back together. I've accepted it. I just don't like it. So you're probably still going to hear me ranting about it in my videos. But it's just so ridiculous to me that they're seemingly going to put these two back together. And just like with Zach and Karen on Sisters, I'm not vouching that Calvin is a saint. All I'm saying is the Calvin that we've been seeing both in season nine and season 10 is just a guy who's trying to move on with his uh, life. But his woman, well, ex-woman, is the one that's dragging him down. She's not ready to move on. She doesn't want to see him be happy, apparently, with anybody else but her. She's just whining about everything. And especially in this season, it's sad what they've been doing with Miranda's character because I remember, um, let me get the date here. Uh, what, when did Whip Flash, May 25th, May 25th, when Whip Flash, the season 10 premiere came on. I remember when that episode dropped and I'm like, who the hell is this Miranda and where does she do... And where's the season nine one? You know what? Scratch that. The season nine, Miranda, if she's tied up and locked in the closet somewhere, let her stay there because this Miranda I love. But then we get to episode 11, Bearer of Bad News, and here we are with her again. Well, actually, what was that episode called? Me Against the World? Was that the Game Night episode? Yeah. Yeah, that was, the, that was another bad Miranda episode. Well, for the most part, she's been easier to stomach in this season but she hasn't been perfect and then when you watch this week's episode a little discipline there have been people who just talk about how man i don't really like laura she's like a queen of sheba type character and she seems way too uppity and this and that i feel like her personality can come across as intrusive because she probably has thoughts about how this should be done that should be done but it in my opinion, I don't think that's the problem, so to speak. I think the main issue is we haven't really gotten many scenes of her at all. I remember not being impressed the first time we saw her, given the fact that she found out Miranda is the person Calvin used to be married to. Oh, this is my friend from work, Calvin. I can't do this. And then she just leaves. And then out of nowhere, the next day, she decides to come back and talk to Miss Ella even though you're the one who walked out on her son the first time he introduced you to the family and now you come back for advice? That doesn't make any sense. And then, you know, her and Calvin seemingly hook up again. But I think one of the main issues of this show is the fact that these episodes seemingly and are quite obviously aired out of order. So any sort of continuity seems just next to near impossible to follow. So, I mean, I've said it before that if these two get back together, I'm probably going to quit watching the damn show. It, it kind of depends, though, because the videos do relatively well. Nowhere near as close as successful as the Oval or Sisters, but it does all right. The House of Pain content does better than Assisted Living, bruh, our kind of people in the Wonder Years. But when I look at the ratings for Season 10, they ain't that good. Um... Season 9, quality-wise, was crap. But in terms of the ratings, there were far more episodes that were at least a .7 or above. Uh, even a couple episodes hit over a million live viewers. When I look at Season 10, and I'm looking at the ratings right now, these episodes are just crap. Not a single episode has reached a million live viewers. The highest-rated episode in terms of viewers was a .7. Seven one, and that was episode 16 entitled painfully honest and if i remember correctly that was the episode where calvin and miranda go back and forth about co-parenting 
Yeah, yeah, that's the one where he tells her about the whole Laura thing and then she flies off the handle. But yeah, that's it. Even the premiere only got a point five six. The and same with assisted living, and that's like even though I feel like both shows have gotten incredibly better quality wise from their previous season, the ratings just aren't there, which could explain that even though the House of Pain videos are still doing okay, they're nowhere near as good as they were on the channel last season. And it sucks because remember, both of these shows come on before the Oval. And even though the Oval is, you know, pretty good ratings wise, it just doesn't translate over to House of Pain and Assisted Living. Now, if both of those shows came on before Sisters, I could possibly see them doing better, but I wouldn't be extremely positive about it. I feel like more people are like, I'm skipping these shows. I'm just going to go ahead and watch Sisters at 9 o'clock. But it just seems incredibly stupid to have Miranda and Calvin together, given the fact that when you look at how Miranda has been acting since the BET reboot of the series or revival of the series, I don't know what kind of message that's sending to audiences because, like I said, in, every, in the past three episodes, it's almost like, you know, Miranda starts some crap or Calvin even starts to just suggest something and Miranda goes off the deep end about it. Calvin is trying to compromise and be mature about the situation. Miranda isn't. She walks. Notice that about Miranda. Every time she doesn't get her way or she gets pissed off, what does she do? She just storms out of the room. She storms out of the loft. She storms out of Miss Ellis' house. And then like Calvin called her out for, you can't keep going to my family whenever you need something or something doesn't go your way. And then as a result, um... At the end of the episode, they might have two or three minutes where they reconcile. She apologizes for going off the deep end. Calvin apologizes too, even though more often than not, he doesn't have anything to apologize for, but he just does. And I feel like you're, I feel like we're seeing more emotional connection scenes between Calvin and Miranda than Calvin and Laura. And I feel like that's a big mistake because it just makes seem, it makes it seem like Laura serves no other reason to be in the show than be a red herring. And I feel like there's so much more that could have been done with the character. Because just based off how they've been acting, even though I can see why people don't necessarily like Laura, I feel like it has less to do with Laura and more about the uh and more to do with the fact that we haven't spent enough time with her and Calvin. Or how does Laura interact with Ella and Curtis when Calvin is around? Has uh Miranda I mean, excuse me, has Laura ever spent time with CJ's family? You know, like let's say her and Calvin stop by the house just because. And let's say CJ and Calvin step outside. What's it like when um, Laura talks with Malik and Lisa? We don't have moments like that, which is sad. So it seems to me that it's quite obvious that Calvin and Miranda will get back together. Look, I will be I will be like genuinely shocked if they do not get back together. At least before Calvin and Laura get married. Like I hope he doesn't get divorced again. But let's just say you know down the line they get back together. But I really hope that they don't. But the argument could be made from a behind the scenes standpoint that given that Laura is barely in any episodes as it is, if the character was axed from the series, you might as well. You know, I even did the video last week. Like, hell, at this point, Floyd ought to be the one who marries Ella. Like, let's say she dumps Curtis or whatever and marries Floyd because he's in the show more than her husband is. It wouldn't matter because of the role he's been playing so far. To be honest, I feel like the same thing could be said about Miranda. Miranda's in the show far more and far more consistently than Calvin and especially Laura, but even Calvin, that she might as well get married to Calvin again so they can, you know, be in the show as a couple just because they're in the show so frequently together. But really, that's all I have to say about the subject. I think it's disappointing if they go that route, but I could definitely see her and Calvin getting back together again. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, like and subscribe. Let me know your two cents below. If you want to donate two cents or more to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App. And with that being said, I'll talk to you in the next video.